You've been given something. Matthew chapter 25 verses 14 and 15. For the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling to a far country, who called his own servants and delivered his goods to them. And to one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to each according to his own ability. And immediately he went on a journey. This week, I would like to take time to consider another parable that the Lord Jesus shared with us. Uh, we often refer to this as the parable of the talents. And just to remind us, the parables were stories from our world that Jesus gave to us in order to help us understand truths concerning the kingdom of God. That's why they're called the parables of the kingdom. Or Jesus usually began his story like this, saying the kingdom of heaven is like this, as he began this parable, for instance. So he said, this is how the kingdom of heaven is, or this is the kingdom of God is. This is how the kingdom of God operates and works. And you need to understand the principles, the truths that are uh, brought out or which are concealed in this parable. So we break it down and so that we can unveil or understand the truths that are resident in the parable so that we can live by those truths. The first truth that we want to highlight in the parable of the talents is this, that to each one some Thing has been given. You know, Jesus talked about this man who gave to one, he gave five, to another, he gave two, and to another, he gave one talent, uh, which would be some amount of money that he gave to each one of his servants. And it says here in verse 15, to each one according to his own ability. So God has blessed each one of us with certain giftings, certain skills, certain capacities or capabilities, uh, certain uh, things that he's blessed us with, all in relation to his call, his appointment, his place that he has for us in the body. But each one of us has been given something or some things. Uh, Ephesians 4 and verse 7, the Bible says, unto each one is given uh, grace according to the measure of Christ's gift. So uh, there is grace that has come upon each of our lives in relation to the gift that God, he, Christ has given to us. Um, these gifts, of course, are related to the place of the function that is given to each one of us in the body. You must understand that the Lord has placed in you grace and gifts. He has not overlooked you. He's not neglected you. There is grace on your life. There are gifts that have been placed in your life in relation to whatever function the Lord has determined best for you in the body, in, the, in, in, his, uh, in his kingdom. And uh, having received grace, what the Bible wants, what the Bible teaches us to do is that we must use the gifts that have been given to us. That is Take, make use of this thing, of the grace and the gifts that have been placed over your life. So now, for you and I, we must recognize the grace, recognize the gifts that God has put on our lives, and then do something with what He has given to us. Let's pray together. And let's ask the Lord that, we will, that He will help us recognize the grace and the gifts that He has given to us, because to each one, something has been given and specifically to you something has been given there is grace and gift on your life that god has given to you let's pray father we ask that you'll enable us to receive this understanding that to each one something has been given and give us the grace the ability to recognize the grace and the gifts that have been placed on our lives in order to fulfill the purpose of God, in order to fulfill the assignment of God for our lives. You have blessed each one of us. Help us to recognize that in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.